Okay, welcome back. Um, today we are going to look at cellular respiration and in particular we're going to look what happens when you breathe out and you use a pH indicator. So the first thing we're going to do is um, we have two beakers and at home you just take two glasses and you put about 50 milliliters or about a quarter of a cup of water in both of these. One is already prepared. We're going to add the bromothymol blue and if you want to, uh, you can wear gloves to do so. Maybe you don't want to get all blue or green fingers afterwards. And the in, in the instructions, I think it says eight drops. If you feel that that is not enough because it's not blue enough or the color is not strong enough, then just add another uh, more drops, but make sure that it's the same number of drops in both. And then you can scroll it around so that it's nice and blue. And if you have a slightly alkaline water, like this spring water, it should be blue. Now it's a time to actually start breathing, so I'm going to take off my mask. And because we do not have a straw here, I'm just going to use a pipe, but at home just use, use a straw and you're just going to breathe until this is going to turn green and you do need a timer in order to measure how long it takes you until it turns green okay so I guess we are there. Okay, this is the first part of the experiment. Now the second part starts where you're going to do some type of physical exercise and in this case you're going to do jumping jacks for a minute. And now you're going back here and do exactly the same thing again. And that's it. So now you have two time points and you can compare them to each other. 